Hey folks, it's Duke here at Holiday World of Katy in Katy, Texas, just west of Houston. And today we're looking at a hideout. It's a Keystone Hideout 27 RLS. That's rear living with the slide. And we're going to take a look at some of the features on the outside. Then we'll take a look at the inside, look at the floor plan. One thing it has you can't see from this angle, but it's got a solar panel just like that. And uh, that's a 200 watt solar panel. It's got a solar charge controller. I believe the solar charge controller is right here. Let's take a look. There it is. It's got a solar charge controller. While we're down here, we can see this pass through storage. But as far as the specs on this one, it's got a dry weight of 6830, gross vehicle weight 9500. So you could actually load this up with uh, 20 something hundred pounds of cargo if you wanted to but it is a traditional construction. They use spruce wood in this one. They don't use pine. There's your uh, power tongue jack and your propane tanks right there. It's got two 30 pound propane tanks. On the outside here, you can see it's got a big awning, a couple of stereo speakers. Uh, there is your water heater right there. So it has two entries. This one goes into the bedroom and then you have another entry right back here it goes into the living room there's your so that's the water heater the heater here's a connection for an outdoor tv that you could plug it in right there and that's your cable hookup right there this one has a lot of windows and you'll notice when we're inside how it opens it up look at that big window in the back see it's prepped for a camera in the back it's a nice looking travel trailer it's a double axle it's got a walkable roof so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the inside. Uh, it, I mentioned the uh, solar panels. It's a 200 watt Solar Flex 200. That means it's got the uh, 200 watt solar panel and the solar charge controller. We're going to. Oh, another thing I didn't show you. It's got these power stabilizer bars, uh, stabilizers. So it's got on all four corners. It's you don't have to do any hand cranking anywhere. You can get it. Uh, use the tongue jack to raise and lower, get it leveled, and then use the stabilizers by just pushing a button. A lot of people don't realize that this aluminum siding will actually hold up better uh, to the weather than the gel coat that you'll typically find on fiberglass. The advantage of fiberglass is that it's lighter. If uh, you don't need it to be lighter, you want something that's going to uh, be a good value. This is an excellent value. This is a very livable floor plan. This one has the solid step by Lippert. It makes contact with the ground. So it's a good solid platform for entering and exiting the coach. Here is the uh, grab handle. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the inside here. I'm going to walk over this way. So you can see it's got those recliners right there. Those can be moved around. You strap them down when you're driving. It's got a sofa, a trifold sofa that makes into a bed. So you have like a living area that is separate from any other section. There's the TV. It's got a fireplace. There is some uh, storage up top over there. So yeah, the back half of it is a living area. And inside behind this TV, there is a, uh, a little hidden pantry area too. So you can... Uh, store some things right there got a table on each side of that sofa what's kind of nice if you're uh, using this uh, to visit with your friends family just relaxing in a homey environment you could sit here somebody could sit there and you could have a cup of coffee uh, and just enjoy each other's company comfortably so it's got a dinette over there. So the slide out's got those two recliners and the uh, dinette that makes into a small bed. You notice these lights are on, that's solar power. There's no battery in this one. We will put a battery in, that's included, along with we'll put propane in it. There's a sound bar there for the TV, the speakers, and your fireplace. There's some storage up above the TV also. So let's take a look at the kitchen. It's got a nice size refrigerator that you can power with battery and solar. It's 12 volt. That's what uh, makes it nice if you're driving down the road. Uh, it, you can power the uh, refrigerator using solar. Uh, if you're full timing or doing some extended stay or somewhere and the power goes out, you still got the solar and batteries as a backup. You see those lighted cabinets. They've got this uh, 
crisscross uh, glass insert and it's, it lights up in there that's a nice touch there is a uh, light here on the uh, stove also you've got those subway tile motif on the black backsplash it's a three burner cooktop right there it's a Furion cooktop and an oven this one's got uh, a vacuum cleaner built in there's a vacuum hose that's probably underneath the bed in the storage there's some storage right there you've got a residential style faucet and a stainless steel sink right there that is a nice feature a nice thing to have got the blade AC system so it's designed to uh, distribute the air kind of like a convection oven would heat up an oven well it, uh, this is a patented system you could read about it online but it is a very efficient system and it keeps it cool throughout the coach so that's a look we're standing in the bathroom door looking back at the coach right here the living area look at all these windows that's very open very comfortable of course you can put the blinds down if you want privacy but it is it makes it really nice uh, be able to see what's going on outside so now we're going to walk into the or we i am you're coming along though i'm your video host this is a full width pass through bath the advantage here instead of a hallway just being a hallway this is this is uh where you walk through but it's also space to give you some elbow room while you are if you're getting up in the morning brushing your teeth here is the uh medicine cabinet and ample bathroom storage right here look at all that towels sheets blankets okay so that is the storage you've got storage underneath there showed you that cubby storage plenty of hip and leg room around the toilet nice size shower yeah i can't overstate how nice it is to have the full width bath and get this uh, extra space in here in the bathroom makes it very comfortable and then uh, we're going to take a look at the bedroom right here you've got a queen size bed got a wardrobe on each side here with a also has a uh, laundry chute right there but you can hang clothes up right here on each side of the bed it's got an inverted outlet also on each side if you want to hook up a CPAP machine get with this on that we need to add a uh, inverter it's already got the solar charge controller and solar panels but my name is Duke I appreciate you tagging along and I'll be happy to help you my phone number is 281 four six seven zero six five nine it's in the description below if you watch this far please uh, take a moment and give me a thumbs up if you would be happy to do that I appreciate it thank you so much and uh, my phone number is two eight one four six seven zero six five nine thank you very much